Welcome to the Installing Peachtree on a Network Workstation Anytime Learning Topic. This topic provides an overview of the procedures and steps used to install Peachtree on a Workstation computer that will access Peachtree data hosted on another computer on the network. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to map a network drive to access server-hosted Peachtree data, install Peachtree on a Workstation, and register Peachtree and download any updates if available. Before installing Peachtree, it's always a good idea to prepare your system for the installation. To learn tips that will help ensure a successful installation of Peachtree, it is recommended that you view the pre-installation checklist anytime learning topic. The pre-installation topic will walk you through optimizing your system for a Peachtree installation, including comparing your system with the system requirements found on the side of Peachtree's box, verifying that you have local administrator login rights, which is a must for any installation of Peachtree on any Windows computer, configuring antivirus and firewall software so that they do not interfere with Peachtree's installation and functionality, and more. It's important to note that when installing Peachtree in a multi-user network environment, that you must always install Peachtree on the system that will be hosting the Peachtree data before installing Peachtree on the workstations. Otherwise, you will not be able to successfully install Peachtree on the workstation. This is due to the nature in which the pervasive database engine used with Peachtree communicates with the host system's database engine. If you have not installed Peachtree on the server yet, please exit this topic and instead view one of the installing Peachtree on a server anytime topics. Afterwards, you can return to this topic to complete your workstation installation. After installing Peachtree on the server, you should map the workstation to the shared folder on the server that contains the Peachtree data path. To properly map a drive, you will need to know two things about the system that currently stores Peachtree's data. The name of the computer, which can be found by right-clicking on the My Computer icon and selecting Properties, and the name of the shared folder that contains Peachtree's data path folder. Always map the folder above the data path folder. To map a drive, we will open Windows Explorer. In Windows Explorer, we will select Tool from the File menu. If you do not see a file menu at the top of Explorer, press Alt on your keyboard to display it. Under Tools, we will select Map Network Drive. A Map Network Drive window will appear. In the Drive drop-down, we will select an unused drive letter. For this example, let's select P. At the Folder field, we will enter the location of the folder to map in a certain way. First, we will enter two backslashes. After the two backslashes, We'll type in the name of the computer holding Peachtree's company data path. Then, enter one more backslash and the name of the shared folder, which in this demonstration is Peachtree. Remember, do not add the actual data path folder, which is company, to the mapped location. We will then make sure that reconnect at logon is checked and then click finish to create the mapped drive. A new Windows Explorer window will appear displaying the contents of the new P drive that was just created to represent the contents of the Peachtree folder. Inside the P drive, we see the Peachtree data path folder, which in this example is named Company. This folder contains all of the files and folders that make up a Peachtree data path and will be defined as the workstation's company data location later in this Peachtree installation. The mapping is now complete and the map drive is ready to be used with the installation of Peachtree. Once your workstation has been prepared for the installation and the Peachtree server is configured and running, it's now time for the workstation installation. To begin, insert your Peachtree CD into your CD or DVD drive. If your version of Peachtree came with two CDs, insert CD1. Peachtree's auto run window should automatically display. If the auto run window does not display automatically, you can manually run it by opening Windows Explorer, opening your CD drive contents, and then double clicking on the auto run application file found in the main directory of Peachtree's installation CD. On the auto run window, click once on the install Peachtree accounting hyperlink. The install wizard will execute. 
preparing your system for the installation. The Peace Tree Installation Wizard program will then start. This installation wizard will guide you step by step through the setup process. Now let's click Next to start the setup process. First, you will need to agree to the license agreement for Peachtree. Select the I Agree option to proceed and then click Next. At this point, you may receive a message stating that the Windows firewall has been detected. As mentioned in the pre-installation checklist, any firewall programs running on the system must allow Peachtree and its helper programs to run without restriction. Otherwise, Peachtree will not function as designed. Clicking Yes to this message will instruct the Peachtree Setup program to automatically configure Windows Firewall to allow Peachtree files to run properly. The Setup program may also detect additional non-Microsoft firewalls running. Note that unlike the built-in Windows Firewall, the Peachtree Setup program cannot auto-configure other firewall programs. It is for this reason that you should follow the steps outlined on this window to turn on the firewall's alert system. With alerts turned on, your firewall program will then prompt you when network aware programs are run on your system for the first time. When you receive firewall alerts during installation, you must select to allow or unblock Peachtree and Pervasive files as they are being run for the first time. Peachtree will then search for previous versions of Peachtree installed on the system. Because this is a brand new installation, it will not find one. Now the serial number window will appear, prompting you to enter the serial number found on the back of the installation CD case. We'll enter the serial number and then click Next. On the standalone or network window, we must select whether or not we plan to use Peachtree only on this computer or if we plan to use Peachtree in a network environment. We will select No since we plan to link this Workstation's Peachtree installation with the Peachtree data path found on another system on the network. Let's click Next. On the Peachtree Company Data Location window, we are asked if we want to store the Peachtree data files created for the company on this computer or on another computer on the network. For single user installations, you will typically answer yes to this question. However, for this demonstration, we are storing the company data files on another system on the network, so we will select No and then click Next. On the next window, we will confirm that Peachtree or the Peachtree server components are currently installed on the server. This is a critical step in a Peachtree network installation, so if you select No, Peachtree will prompt you to stop this installation and install Peachtree on the server first. We have already installed Peachtree on the server, so we can select Yes and then click Next. On the Set Peachtree Program Files Location window, we will define the location on this computer that the Peachtree Program Files will be stored. Although multiple users will be accessing Peachtree data on the network, a single installation of Peachtree cannot be shared on a local area network. So this location must be a local hard disk installed on this computer. It cannot be a map network drive or a removable media drive such as a USB flash drive. Let's leave the program path set to its default location and then click Next. Earlier, we told the setup process that the company data will be stored on another machine. Now we need to define the exact location on the Peachtree Company Data Location window. In this scenario, that location will be the mapped drive that we created before the installation process. If for some reason we have not yet mapped a drive, we can click the Find a Computer button to bring up the Windows Map Network Drive tool, with which we can create the map in the same way we did earlier in this topic. Since we already have the map drive, we can select it from the drop-down list of existing map drives. Note that the installation will be able to tell if the drive you select is not a mapped drive containing a Peachtree data path folder and will alert you if this happens. Otherwise, the window will display the drive letter and folder that it will use. Now we can click Next. 
We have now finished configuring how we want Peachtree to be installed on the system, and a summary window appears summarizing our selections. We also have the opportunity to include a Peachtree icon on the system's desktop and in the quick launch area of the taskbar. These are always recommended. Now let's begin the actual copying process. A setup status window will appear, providing you with a view of the current progress of the installation. It will be during this portion of the installation that you may be prompted by your firewall programs to allow or block the Peachtree and Pervasive files listed on this window. Again, you will always want to allow these files to run unrestricted, so always select Allow or Unblock to these prompts. In addition to Peachtree, programs installed at this time include the Pervasive Database Engine, which is used to manage your database, and Sage's Advisor and Integration Services. Once the installation process is finished, you will be presented with one final screen where you can start Peachtree or read the latest release notes. Let's uncheck Start Peachtree and then click the Finish button. Back on the desktop, we now see up to four new icons. The Peachtree icon will start the Peachtree program. The Peachtree Automatic Backup icon allows you to configure automatic backups without opening the Peachtree program. The Peachtree Knowledge Center icon links you to Peachtree.com's extensive online help. And a Business Checks and Forms icon provides direct access to many business forms, such as pre-printed invoices and checks, that can be printed and used in Peachtree. Both Peachtree and the Automatic Backup program can also be accessed by selecting them from a new startup folder that was added to the Start menu. Let's open Peachtree. You may receive additional firewall alert prompts as the program starts. Again, always allow the files to run unrestricted. Because Peachtree was already registered on the server and during the installation we configured the server data path as the company data location, the workstation will be registered as well, including any tax service that you may subscribe to. However, you should check for Peachtree service release and Peachtree tax service updates that may have been released since the pressing of the CD. To download and install the latest updates, select Services from the File menu and then Check for Updates. Click the Check for Updates button that appears and follow any steps that the program provides. If updates are available, you will be walked through a series of steps that will include downloading program and tax service updates and then walking through the update wizards that will appear after the downloads are complete. In this demonstration, there are currently no updates available, so we can click OK to the prompt and begin using Peachtree. So as you have seen, installing Peachtree on a workstation can be a quick and painless process. If you prepared your system properly, defined the mapped data path before the installation, and made sure you registered the product and downloaded updates, you will have your Peachtree workstations up and running in no time. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning topic. You have learned how to prepare your system for a successful Peachtree installation, map a network drive to access server-hosted Peachtree data, install Peachtree on a workstation, and download any updates. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning topic. For information on additional training options available, visit us at sageu.com.